Okay, so today I'm planning to cycle from Calendar to Cullen on National Cycle Route 7. Uh, and as you can see, I've got the road bike, uh, which is strongly advised against in the literature. Uh, but when I dug out my cross bike last night, the chain was all rusted up, so I clearly hadn't looked after it properly. Uh, so, road bike it is. Um, and I've got a couple of spare tyres and spare tubes, just in case the surface rips it all to shreds. And the tyres are not in great shape to start with, actually. There's quite a few scores here, so let's hope it works out. About seven minutes past eleven. Hope to be in Cullen about one o'clock, probably. I'll be stopping for some pictures along the way, so not a huge rush. Let's just hope I get there without any punctures. So, one of the things I want to do, given the advice is of no account use a road bike, is just see what the surface is like. So this is emerging from what was the old station, at Calendar, down onto the main road, we cross the main road, and then pretty much immediately head down the track, killing 21 miles with Ben Lady in the distance. And this is a bit rough to start with. And the old signal, just to verify that this is the old wheel track. After the first half a mile or so, the gravel disappears and we're on to something approaching tarmac. Now this is pretty heavy going. This is looser or deeper gravel. And for tyres with no tread, it's slipping a bit. And this is a bit muddy. There's really been very little late rain the last couple of weeks, but I bet it's quite wet. Completely off road. Good to see we're still going the right way. An uphill stretch. Once again, road bike tyres not ideal for this. Just about a mile from Strathaya, you put these hairpins, and I think if I had a mountain bike, this would be fine. But the road bike uh, really wasn't making a very good attempt at this, so I'm walking. Now we're on something a little smoother down into Strathaya. This will take us onto the new bit of path uh, which cuts off uh, Alquidda. There's a nice view over the river. Uh, so this is the new bit of path. Uh, yeah, I think it's only a few months old. It's really nice and smooth. You could roll a blade in this. It certainly seems pretty smooth. Should be able to get some good speed up on this. 
So yes, this is suitable for rollerblading. This is all very pleasant. Nice scenery. Wouldn't want to rollerblade over that. But otherwise, it's really nice. Lovely and smooth. A great view down the glen towards Balcuda and Stop Binnen at the peak with the snow on it. This is the King's House. We could go to Balcuda uh, to see where Rob Roy is buried, but we're going to carry on up there. After King's House, it's been a lot more undulating, a lot more ups and downs, some steepish bits, but nothing too bad. Oops, I'm not good at heights. Don't look down, don't look down. Okay. So this is coming into <coughs> Loch Ernhead. Uh, this is where we start to climb, and I think what it looks like is we're running along one railway line, and now we're going to climb to the high railway line. This is probably the toughest climb. And having climbed that steep bit, you might think you must be at the summit of the track. You're not. Uh, there's another 100 metres to go before you start the descent down into Colin. But the next three to four miles are very gentle. We know steep inclines. There's a really nice viaduct up ahead, the Glenogo viaduct. So, let's go. Great view. It's a long way down. Okay, killing four. We're crossing the main road here. Hmm. This might be rough, so this is the way down into Colin, the last three and a half miles. This is nice, it's really nice and smooth. But yeah, it's going to be tough coming back up. That would appear to be the end of the good path. Oh, that's not so good. Oh. Ooh. Getting close to Colin now, there's a lot of stones and it's really bumpy. But it's hard just to keep going straight uh, and not skid, so taking it easy. And this is Colin, and we're just going to cross the road here. So we're ready to start going back up that hill again. Uh, it's now uh, just after two, so I'm not going to be doing too many stops for pictures on the way back, so we'll see how it goes. Oh, and this is the start of the climb back out of Colin. Forest tracks, that's the end of the really steep bit. And I in the bike, I didn't walk. I feel like stopping for a snack, that smells good. Back down and across the road. This is one of the railway posters.
900 miles? Yeah. 900 miles. 900. Done it head to? Pauline Dorset. Great, good luck. Thank you very much. <laughs> nice to meet you anyway. Nice Thank to you meet care. you. Good luck. So on the way back, I decided to have a wee detour down to Balquidder. Uh, so heading that way now. It's just a couple of miles. The road from Balquidder to Strathaya, this is the old uh, Route 7. I'm beginning to prefer it uh, compared to that nice flat velvet smooth cycle track. <laughs> well, I think I would have to say that picturesque as it is, uh, this is much tougher than the nice flat super velvet smooth rollerbladable new bit of cycle track between Strathaya and Kynes House. Hello again! Strathaya Village Shop. What a view, what a view. Mm. <laughs> one and a quarter, one and a quarter. And here we are, and are we? Back into calendar. Oh. At the end of a nice day. And to celebrate, I'm going to run along the road. Roads, there's a the traffic. So, it is possible to cycle the calendar to Colin cycle path National 7 on a road bike. So, 5 hours 35 minutes, 44.2 miles, only 1399 calories. That's barely enough to cover that chalk case. Oh, don't jump. Oh, no, don't jump, don't jump, don't jump, don't jump. Just in a panic. That would have been a big jump. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>